is up my people how you been how you doing how's your week been going so you already know i'm your boy the friendliest face in the game the man of the hour the boy wonder himself kick a ching and today you're watching the brink stop where the money drops off so before we get into it i just like to give you guys a reminder i'm not a financial advisor and this isn't financial advice we're simply having a friendly discourse and we're going to be talking about cryptocurrency and it's mainly my opinion, what you do with your money, that is your own decision. So let's get down to it guys. Uh, we're not going to go into what's been happening in the markets recently, even though we've been having a lot of great news. We're not going to go into, you know, the price points of Bitcoin or Ethereum in general, nothing like that. What I'd like to discuss today is DYOR, or as people say, do your own research. So. I know if you guys watch other YouTube channels or if you even watch me, you always hear us talking about, okay, so do your own research. Oh, guys, make sure, you know, you're looking out for this. Make sure you're doing your own research. D-Y-O-R. You always see it in, like, Instagram posts, Twitter posts, whatever. Oh, make sure you research, this, research that. And you guys might be saying, okay, you guys say do your own research, but, like, what do you mean, like, do your own research? How do we do our own research? Uh, do what? What the fuck? <laughs> Excuse me, tongue twister. <laughs> How do we do our own research? Where do we do our own research? Stuff like that. And so this video is just going to be like a quick video and show you guys like a little thing or some of the things that I do and how I'm doing my own research and what you guys could do to implement and that could basically step up your cryptocurrency and investing game so you can make maximum gains and you know minimize your risk so let's get to it so one of the uh, first things I'd like to say we have coin market cap now if you guys have watched any of my previous videos I've definitely talked about coin market cap how it helps out and what well, coin market cap does like what I like more than anything else is you can see the price points of almost every cryptocurrency. So say for instance, if you guys have apps or stuff like that, so say Blockfolio, the Delta app, um, I think CoinStats, that's another one. They might not have all the cryptocurrencies that you want to look at, and not only that, it might not be all in real time or up to date. But Coin Market Cap, it's always in real time. It's always up to date. And another thing too, it'll tell you like how many cryptocurrencies have been added. It'll show you the different markets, the market cap, the twenty. 24-hour volume, the Bitcoin dominance, it goes into all of that. And then also you can see, you can see the price, you can see the specific volume of a certain coin, like Bitcoin, circulated supply. Like I'm telling you, coin market cap does it all. And say for instance, if we were to click on one, so let's click on Neo. If we were to click on it, so if you guys wanted to research Neo, you can click on it, see its rank, all that. And again, this is in my previous video, but we're going over it again for what coin market cap kind of does. And say for instance, if you wanted to go to the market, or not even go to the market, let's say if you wanted to go to the Neo website figure out what they do click website straight to neo so that's how you guys can really find out what these coins do because at the end of the day you don't want to just listen to us and invest based of all, based off of our advice because we can't sit here and tell you for a fact what's going to happen we can do great research we can do great technical analysis we could do all of this stuff but at the end of the day it's kind of speculation like yes we can have feelings yes we can know what direction it's heading but it's speculation until it actually happens so it would be better if you guys or i should i say you guys would be more comfortable if you were doing your own research so yeah as you can see we're on the neo site whatever so this this isn't what i wanted to look at but say for instance a coin which i do like pundi x so say for instance i wanted to research pundi x i go here uh, Pundi, uh, nope, that is not it. Pundi X, here we go, MPXS. So here we go, Pundi X, right? Pundi X shows us our price point, all this good stuff. And if I were to click on the website, it would take us here. Now I'm already here. This isn't a website, this is the white paper, which leads me into the next point. You guys always need to read the white papers. Now, people say read the white papers, read the white papers. What are the white papers? The white papers are basically what these developers, they're with the team, they're with the organizers of the coin and or token. This is what they put together and they put it into a formal document. And this states like everything about the coin from the token metrics. This talks about their team. This talks about their plans for the future, as in they have their roadmap, whether it be for 2018, 2019, every four quarters. 
they do it all in the white paper. And basically what I like about the white paper is now when I've, again, this is also in my other videos too, but a lot of white papers, what I first thought was like, oh, they're going to be hundreds of pages. Oh, I was going to be like reading the textbook. I'm just um, be swamped in it. No, guys, like as you can see here, or, yeah, as you can see here, Puni X is only 38 pages. And if you really look at it, like skip the first intro, like it's really easy to break down and it's not heavy. And some of them do get more technical. Some do. Some of them do get very heavy and like, you know, laden with certain technological terms or blockchain terminology that might be confusing. But the more that you read, the more that you understand blockchain technology, and the more that you really look into these white papers, the more you'll understand in terms of going into the future. So what I would like to show you guys is reading. Personally, I don't know what other people do, but I know for me what works. If I'm just reading a white paper, okay, that does good because it gives me the insight into what the coin is doing, where it's headed, all that stuff. But another thing too, like if you're really interested in it and you don't just want the overview, if you're really interested, I suggest you guys take notes. So I don't know if you guys can see this. Um, this is just like for this is actually for a lasso. This isn't for Pudi X. But as you guys can see, like I highlight some of the good stuff. I highlight like the important stuff is highlighted in like this green color. And then like, you know, other information that adds on to the green or the more important is highlighted in yellow. And I do that for a lot of my coins. And I have like I have pages and pages of research. I don't know if you guys can like still see that. No, no, no. Oh, here we go. So yeah, more pages, more research, more pages, more research, like so yeah, I like I do research all the time, and that's what that's just one of the things that helps me out when I like write down because if I really want to get into a coin or a token and I really want to invest with them, and I'm making sure that this is a good long term investment because most of the coins or tokens I'm in, I'm not in for the short term. I'm in for the long term, two to three years, three to five, seven, ten, etc. So when I'm doing this, I'm making sure I'm taking my notes because when I take my notes, I want to be able to think about okay, so why are they currently down in the market? Okay, well maybe that their plan that they implemented that isn't going too well right now but i do know what's happening in their roadmap they're making the right partnerships they're rolling out their uh use they're rolling out their technology in the right places so i know that all this stuff is happening you know as they say it should and also that's another thing too which could really help you guys when you're doing research is if you really do read these white papers take notes like i just showed you guys when some of these coins aren't following up on what they said or doing what they do, this might be a key indicator that you guys might not be in the right project because not every project is, you know, going to do what they say that they're going to do or they're going to be, you know, they're going to be like they're going to realize the potential that they said that they were going to. So that's really a big factor for me. I like taking my notes and when I can really take my notes, I can hold the team accountable. I can hold the company organization accountable when stuff isn't happening or when it is happening. So there's that. Another thing when you're doing your research, or should I say point number three, uh, always, always, always read the news, guys, because how can you stay informed in the space and you're not reading the news? Yeah, you can come to us and, you know, the crypto people within YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, wherever, you can come to the crypto people and listen to us talk about it. But if you're not actively up on the news, you're not going to know what's going on. Same thing like what happens in the world, like whether what's happening in Venezuela, Iran, Turkey, no matter what's happening, you guys won't know that unless you read the news. And I'm not saying you have to get a newspaper, like a order subscription. You guys go on some of the, uh, like a website. And so these are some of my favorite sites right here. Uh, so this first one, CoinGate, this is one of my favorites, and honestly, it's really good. I don't know if it works. It probably does work for the Mac. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> but what I did, I subscribed to notifications, and so every time an article comes out on Coinba uh, CoinGate, uh, they'll send an, uh, they'll send a notification to my computer and it'll like pop up in the lower right hand screen and I don't know if you guys have seen that before during my videos but that's a, that's also happened where I had to click off but yeah so if you guys just want to have a look like you know some good news some good insight into the space definitely go to these news sources and honestly I would say a lot of these news sources for cryptocurrency they're fairly 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 <laughs> objective <laughs> so i like them because they really aren't biased towards one way or the other they're not biased towards like oh we only need to invest in bitcoin oh we only need to invest in you know ethereum oh bitcoin's gonna fail bitcoin's a bubble like they report all the news at least from what i've seen they report all the news and a lot of times i do get bullet sentiment from some of the people writing the articles but overall still i would say they're objective in everything that they write 
So as you see here, they have good articles for the day. What is this? Bitcoin is it all bottom out times indicating price could head higher. Will Cardano follow Ethereum path of recovery like it chose to fall or like it chooses to fall? Um, decentralizing the talk like they do like i'm telling you guys they do everything like when it comes to the news and i really like them and as you can see price analysis they have ico reviews events answer views education like so you guys really need to get on top of like these news sources because this could really be benefiting you in terms of investing in cryptocurrency figuring out where you need to put your money all that and then of course too they also have their own like you know it's not as good as uh coin market cap but they also have their own where they show you all the coins and stuff like that so there's that. Um, that's Coin. That's CoinGate. I like CoinGate. You guys should use it. And we also have Coin Telegraph. Coin Telegraph, I love. Like they have good graphics, sleek design. But this isn't the like harp on well, you know Coin Telegraph and their design. This is just the state. They do put out good content and they put it out so frequently. So you can say, you guys can see like right here, two hours ago, thirty one minutes ago, ten minutes ago, three hours ago, four hours ago, fourteen hours ago, thirteen hours, thirteen hours ago, fourteen hours ago, sixteen like. When I tell you, like, these cryptocurrency sites I just introduced you guys to, they really stay up to date on everything. Like, I applaud, like, especially Cointelegraph. They really stay up to date on so much stuff. And as you guys see, there's editor's choices, and then there's hot stores. And I just really like these coin, like, basically, I like these different coin uh, news sources. Is because, well, say, for instance, I go to class, or say, for instance, I have a meeting, say, for instance, I go out to lunch. I might do something and I might miss it, but I can guarantee that I'll get a notification on my phone and I can read it. I guarantee that I can just go on their website and say, oh, what's the big thing that happened? Or if I want to see like something small, like what's small happened within cryptocurrency today, I can do that. And that's why I really like these news sources because they really get you into, they really get you into tune with what's happening in the world in terms of what's happening in terms of adoption, what's happening in terms of, um, you know, banning cryptocurrency or their laws and regulations, you know, what's happening in terms of the scamming what's happening in terms of you know where the price is going to go what is the worldly sentiment how is it in the u.s the uk eu how is it in china southeast asia whatever it might be i can guarantee you these coin news sources have and that's what i like about it so i guarantee you guys if you are going to these news sources and you're staying on top of these you know these uh the news going on in the space i guarantee you you guys will be, you know, have a better experience when you're buying or investing into Bitcoin, investing into these cryptocurrencies and altcoins. All together, you'll just have your pulse on that. You'll just have your pulse on the market. So you know, okay, well, if this happens, then I know I'm going to be able to invest here and it'll go up. Or if this happens, I can invest here and it'll go down. Whatever it might, whatever it might be, just know if you keep it up with the news, you're in a safe space. So. One last thing I'd like to uh, show you guys. I'm pretty sure I showed you guys before, but this is Coin360.io. This too is kind of like Coin Market Cap, but the great thing about this is it act, not only does it give you the overall sentiment, like oh, is it all like really red or is it green? But you can also click on these various ones. So okay, there we go. I thought it was gonna come up. So you can click on it. So say for instance, you go to Coin360, you click on it. It tells you about it. It tells you some news about it. Again, this is more news, guys. It tells you news about it, and then it shows you the price points over the last 24 hours and honestly that's what i really like about it and it does it for everything like so for instance e like again i really don't need to go into it but eo she got tron uh omize go cardano xlm uh, monero dash neo like you guys can do everything with it and that's why i like coin 360.io so that's really it guys um you know again guys you just need to stay on top of your research and when we say d-y-o-r d-y-o-r research this is what we're talking about we're talking about making sure you're putting into time making sure you're putting in the effort because at the end of the day this is your money so whether you put ten dollars a thousand dollars no matter what it might be that's still money that you could potentially lose so do you just want to blindly bet your money on something that you heard someone talk about or do you want to place a thousand dollars or ten dollars fifty hundred dollars into something that is like okay i researched it i understand it i read the news about it i know what's going to happen with this team project organization i am fully behind them or you might not you'd be like you might have heard about it and you go read it and you're like well i don't really like this i'm not interested in this or the team doesn't sound good whatever it might be you know, like okay everybody talking about it but this is a bad investment at least for me so i'm not going to do it and that's what i'm saying guys when you do your own research you really just unlock all the opportunities for you to make your maximum gains because you can cater to yourself and you can see what you need to see in terms of where you need to invest why you need to invest how you need to invest etc so 
that's really it, guys. Uh, I'm trying to get some more content out to you guys this week. Uh, follow me on Instagram at the Kick -a Ching. And yeah, guys, we'll see you next time. Kick -a Ching out. Let's go. Let's go.